Welcome back to the shop. We are almost the end of the year and 2025 is going to bring us a lot of new features and 3D printing, mainly the RFID systems that we are going to see on the spools. We already know we have the Bamboo Labs uh, RFID system. So your printer know what is going on. Creality is bringing one out with the K2. There are going to be a huge load of AMS, multicolor, MMU, whatever you want to call it, systems in 2025. And I have my concerns going forward that if everybody is going to have their own sorts of RFID and it's not going to be compatible, we are going to have a major spider web of RFID bullshit. Now, first of all, I want to talk about the RFIDs and what these are doing. If you are fairly new to 3D printing and you have no clue what I mean, on these spools in the future will be a chip and your printer is going to be able to read the chip and get all sorts of information out of that chip. We are going to see the diameter of the filament. We are going to see the color, the finish, like it's going to be a glossy one, a matte one. Temperature information will be on there. Uh, features like pressure advanced, potential integration with filament dry the remaining weight of your spool so if you have been printing with the spool you will know what is going to be left on your spool just in general a uh, spool management system so you can have something that you know what you have laying around how many grams something is going to weigh obviously also the type of material if it's going to be a PLA a TPU or an ABS now these are going to be the most positive things I can say about an RFID system about your filament spools now let's talk about the negatives first of all we are going to get locked into a closed off ecosystem bamboo is trying to close it off now you can still insert what type of filament is and what color it is and some brands are trying to reverse engineer the uh, tag system of the bamboo so they can put it on their spools so you can put their spools in the ams system to print with that color the biggest problem is we can also see that bamboo lab is trying to lock it down nobody can enter the information of the rfid we are going to see the same with the creality hyper pla series that's not, probably not going to stop with just the hyper pla and if i have to guesstimate gd is also coming with some sort of a multi-color box probably also going to have uh, some kind of an RFID system that is going to be linked to the filament of GD and this is not going to stop we will see in the future if they are not doing it right now probably the next iteration because when the big dog does something the rest will follow so I'm afraid that we are going to see a real rat's nest of RFID madness. Now, luckily, some people are working on a solution. It is open source, just like everything good in the 3D printer world. It is going to be open source RFID. What does that mean? They want to implement something that is going to be shared with everybody. So a Bamboo, a Prusa, a Creality, a GD, an Anycubic, you name it. Everybody needs to use the same type of RFID system. And open source is just releasing all the files, trying to do the good thing. So every brand that is in the world that is keen to do it can integrate the open source system into their ecosystem and hopefully make it a lot easier for brands like a Sanity or a Polymaker or whatever it's called to make it easier to include RFID badges into their spools that are compatible with all the printers in the consumer world. Now, obviously it's not going to be smooth sailing and I have actually seen a video about Polymaker from Nicholas that they are asking to do something open source, globally available and do it for all the printers instead of locking it down, doing your own thing and just make a massive filament spaghetti out of the system. There are a lot of smart people working on that system and the only thing I can do is just tell you that it exists i'm going to put some links down below so you can read the get up about the open source rfid system the only thing we can do is share and talk about it and hopefully the brands behind the screens will see the loud message of the community that we don't want locked down rfid systems and we need something good like the open source one that is now being pushed forward so if you're interested in rfid i think it's a good system but it's going to be so bad if everybody is going to lock it down to their brands and then you will have to do some manual tweaking and all of that because right now if you put in a spool with an rfid and the system automatically can detect what you are printing this is a good way forward this is actually industry pushing kind of uh, development so yeah i really hope that a lot of voices are going to talk about this we really need the consumer markets to do the right thing and i 
Looking at you Bamboo, I'm looking at you Creality. Please consider the open source alternative. Maybe there is a way to keep your proprietary version of the RFID system and make it run the open source one next to it. I have no clue if that's even possible or anything like that. But yeah, this is just me trying to spread awareness that uh, a lot of people are working on the open source variant and if we the community are not talking about it then I'm afraid that we will get a real rat's nest of RFID madness. All right, this is going to be a very short video. If you're wondering what is sitting right here in front of me, this is the Mega Smoother V2. We have a lot of cool features integrated in this thing. It's going to be a lot nicer. And the things you are hearing right now, this is just a print farm uh, running full whack to do all kinds of printing like these ones. So this is going to be a Polar Maker themed one with white and their uh, branded teal color. Uh, if you're interested in that, and you have no clue what it is, there will be a video right up there you can check out. But this will be a very interesting object next year. And hopefully I will get some good news and nice cooperation with somebody. And uh, we can do something in the future. All right, that's going to be it. A short and quick video. Guys, I'll see you in the next one. And make sure to spread the open awareness about the RFID systems. Bye-bye.